In 2003, scientists discovered that there was a black hole that was singing. In fact, it was singing 57 octaves below middle C. Go ask all of your musical friends what that might even sound like. The great question, of course, is until scientists discovered in 2003 that there was a black hole that was singing, who was listening? Any second grader is going to ask that question. Who's listening to a black hole that's singing B flat, 57 octaves below middle C? Well, I'd like to suggest in this concept of what shapes us, understanding that revelation rules reason, how do we understand that black holes need to be understood or even listened to? And who's listening? Well, according to God's word, biblical revelation, Isaiah 44 and 49 tell us that creation is singing to God and God is responding and listening. Absolutely fascinating that biblical revelation helps us to understand that what was discovered in 2003 is something that's been going on since God made his world. God's creation is singing to him. Well, what does that mean for any of the rest of uh, our thinking about this? As you recall, we were talking about this in the last video, that reason is under revelation. Creational revelation even helps us to understand our reason, and then biblical revelation overlays it all. So if we understand that biblical revelation helps us to know how do we even interpret creation, how much more then do we understand that it helps us to interpret all of human reason? So even the fact that we discovered in 2003 that black holes sing, where's that come from? Ultimately from God himself, who has not only made his world to be interpreted properly through him, but his word helps us to interpret all things, even black holes singing 57 octaves below middle C at B flat.